Welcome to the NetSuite video series provided by RAND Group. My name is David Torres, and in today's video, I'll be demonstrating the process of returning a defective item back to a vendor. Let's get started. In my previous videos, we've been working with purchase order number 12925. I'm going to open this purchase order. In the first video, I created this purchase order record, and I received the 10 items. In my second video, I billed the 10 items, and then paid the bill in full. Now let's say out of the 10 designer chairs that I ordered, two of them came in with broken chair legs and we want to return them. To begin the return process, I'm going to click on Authorize Return. This takes us to our vendor return authorization form where most of these fields are populated from that original order. We can see here our status is pending approval. NetSuite has a native approval process for vendor return authorizations and pending approval is the default status. We can see over here the purchase order in which it was created from. And if we scroll down, we can see our items. Here we have 10 designer chairs, but we only want to return two of them. So we're going to change the 10 to a 2 and click OK. We're going to save this record, and now it's pending approval. In this case, I'm going to approve my own return, but in most cases, the approval permission will be routed to a supervisor. Now it is pending return, and once we gather our two items, and ship them off, we can click on return. This will take us to our item fulfillment form where we have information such as our vendor, the record in which it was created from, the date, and some shipping information, as well as our items. We can save this record, and now we've successfully completed our return process. I'm gonna open the original purchase order where we created it from, and if I go to related transactions, I can see the vendor return authorization record we created. And here under related records, I can see the item fulfillment record that we created. In my next video, I'll be creating a bill credit and applying that bill credit to an existing bill for that vendor. Thank you for watching this video provided by Rand Group. If you have any questions or would like to learn more about NetSuite, feel free to contact us.